The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Next on UMass Sports Insider, we're talking track and field for the Minute Men and Minute Women as the A-10 Indoor Championships come up this weekend. We'll introduce you to two record-setting runners on the women's side while getting to know a men's sprinter who doubles on the gridiron. And lacrosse season is underway, with the opening game for the Minute Women seeing a landmark get reached for the head coach. We'll look back at a strong opening act for the seven-time defending conference champs. Plus, you'll see the exciting post-college challenges that await some standout UMass athletes. High-level students who are primed to begin their careers in fields of their choice. Ready to head out into the real world and excel. UMass Sports Insider, here we go. You're watching UMass Sports Insider, presented by Mafre Insurance, Coca-Cola, and Office Depot Office Max. UMass men's hoop seems to have turned a corner during the first few weeks of February, winning three of four prior to Wednesday night's game at Fordham, including victories against some of the top dogs in the Atlantic 10. Now after a week on the road, the Minutemen are back on the Mullen Center Court this weekend, hosting George Mason Sunday afternoon. Hi there, good afternoon and welcome to UMass Sports Insider. I'm your host Josh Maurer. Well, the winter sports teams are winding up their regular seasons. That men's basketball game against George Mason is at 4 o'clock on Sunday as UMass tries to continue its recent role. They had quite a week last week taking down one of the top teams in the conference VCU at home before earning a thrilling overtime victory in Pittsburgh at Duquesne on Valentine's Day Sunday. Let's take a look back, presented by Office Depot, Office Max. Davis jump stop, kicks it out to Hines. He's on with a veteran backcourt of Mason and Coulter. Three on two, and again, the dunk no good space diverted it. Davis, he's got a... Trey Davis, Clark is wide open, ducks around one man, fires up a long range jumper. Best of luck on Sunday afternoon as men's hoops host George Mason. Well, it's time now to switch gears. We're going to talk about the indoor track and field teams at UMass as both the men's and women's squads prepare to compete in the Atlantic 10 indoor championships in Rhode Island this weekend. And now we welcome on two of the standout performers for the women's team. Heather McLean and Emily Cowan join us. It's great to have you ladies and Heather, let me start with you. You've had a great junior season thus far. Talk about all the things that have been going well for you so far on the track. Um, well, I've definitely moved up in distance, so I was not expecting to have such strong <laughs> distance performance just because I'm not used to it, but I was really excited and I'm really excited for the rest of the season. I know that you've been bringing along this freshman here. Emily, you've had such a great start to your career, some records already being set. What's it been like coming in in your first season and contributing the way that you've been able to? Um, it's definitely unreal. I mean, I came out here just trying to give everything I have and it's really great to have a positive outcome. I know, Heather, you've worked a lot, as I mentioned, on, on helping kind of be a mentor to Emily, right? Talk <laughs> about what impact that she's made and how you've been able to help her do it. Well, from the first day, she was a leader. I could already see it, even on her recruiting trips. And um, I was really excited to get her on this team. Um, she hit the ground running as far as track, and she's a really good teammate and a great friend to have. So you run some shorter events, some sprints and relays. What kind of mentality does that take, Emily, to be successful at that? Well, definitely have to be able to take anything. Like, for example, you go from, as what Heather says, as short as like a 200 all the way up to a mile, and you just have to be able to take what's given to you and make the best of it. Heather, you, you've gone through a little bit of a change, but obviously you've been successful pretty much at whatever distance that you've been at throughout your career here. Tell me, tell me what kind of versatility that takes. It definitely takes a lot of strength. I think the one thing that really helped me move up this season um, particularly is the fact that I had the whole cross country season under my belt. So this year I was able to really run all the races and actually train throughout the whole season. So that really helped me with my endurance obviously and then the workouts that we have been doing this year really gets my speed up, so I'm able to just switch gears, which is great. So it's time for some championship meets. The A-10 Indoor Championships, they'll be at the University of Rhode Island this coming weekend. 
Emily, tell me about competing in your first one of these. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Um, from the beginning, the first meeting that we had as freshmen, the whole goal was to go out to A-10s and do the best we can and get the best results. So I'm excited to see all the work that we put in finally be laid out on the track and see what we can really do. Heather, you've been through a few of these before. What should you and your teammates be expecting? I'm expecting a really, really high placement in the A-10. We have such a great team this year, so many girls with so, many, like, so much potential, and I know that many of them will PR at this meet, and a couple others will just place really high. So um, with everyone we have and with how strong the people we already had are right now, there's a really good chance that we could win this meet. Wow. Well, good luck. It's great spending some time with each of you, and we wish you Thank both you. continued success. Thank you. Thank you. Emily Cowan and Heather McLean joining us here on UMass Sports Insider are also coming up later on in our program. We're going to talk about the men's indoor track team and meet a dual sport athlete who's been starring for Coach O'Brien. But for now, it's time for us to take a quick break on UMass Sports Insider. When we come back, we switch to women's lacrosse and look back at a season opening victory at Garber Field, a game that allowed Coach Angela McMahon to reach a very impressive milestone. Keep it right here. I'm getting ready to shop for school supplies and I'm kind of super excited about it. A number two pencil, it'll get you through the day. This is what you need. Why didn't I get enough pencils? Like I'd open a pack of paper and I'd be like, it smells like learning. <laughs> future is now, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm going to get. This right here. I am a student again, and I can do anything. I have an agenda. <laughs> thinking insurance company with a global network focused on taking care of you and your family providing freedom from worry everywhere you go Moffray insurance a forward-thinking insurance company with a global network providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family Moffray insurance Leadership isn't given, it's earned, realized, accomplished, fulfilled, won. Leadership isn't given, it's taken. He shoots, he scores! That's right, it's basketball season and your UMass Minutemen are ready to take to the court at the Mullen Center. Don't miss out on the fun. Be sure to get your seats for this season's premium matchups and exciting game day action. Choose your games with the Maroon Pack or the Musket Pack. Select three great games for only $55 or five games for $90. Great seats are still available. The single game tickets are starting at just $20. Get your game on. Call 866-UMASS-TIX or visit UMassAthletics.com to lock in your seats today. We're back on UMass Sports Insider. UMass women's lacrosse has been a dynasty of late, winning seven consecutive Atlantic 10 championships, five of which have come under the tutelage of head coach Angela McMahon. Last Friday night, as the Minute Women opened their season with a victory against Holy Cross, Coach McMahon became the winningest coach in program history, passing the great Pam Hickson in the process. Let's take a look back at the special night for her, presented by Office Depot, Office Max. proud happy night um, for everyone the whole UMass program um, in general and a lot of credit goes to everyone that assistant coaches players uh, administrators that just support our program so well so really fortunate to be here it 
it was great, you know, and, and finishing our fall season and uh, with Holy Cross and beginning the spring season, I think, uh, gives us a great barometer for how much we've improved over the past few months um, and working on some different systems and having some different people step up with scoring. We had a lot of goal scorers. We had a lot of people step up and make plays on defense. So I think we have a, a great team. I think we have a lot of potential. We made a lot of mistakes though tonight and I think that there's a lot to build from and hopefully we continue to improve in uh, those different aspects. You know, we just try to take it day by day and game by game and not think too much of big picture. I mean, I think ultimately you want to create um, a, a winning, sustainable culture, and I think that we've created that, but really it's it's the daily um, grind that we go through and the working and practice and the lifting and the workouts and um, the team bonding that we do and, and really just trying to appreciate all those moments um, and just being the best team we can possibly be each day and get better and improve and hopefully be better each and every year is, is really the focus. Once again, special congratulations to Coach McMahon. The men and women are home again at Garber Field this Saturday in the back end of a men's women's lacrosse doubleheader. The men will play their home opener against nationally ranked Ohio State at noon. Then the men and women take on New Hampshire at 3 o'clock. Well, it's time for us to break here on UMass Sports Insider. When we come back from these words, you'll meet an Eastern Mass native who keeps busy year-round running roots as a wide receiver in the fall and sprints on the track in the winter and spring. Find out how he does it right after this. He drives, he shoots, he scores. That's right, it's basketball season and your UMass Minutemen are ready to take to the court at the Mullen Center. Don't miss out on the fun. Be sure to get your seats for this season's premium matchups and exciting game day action. Choose your games with the Maroon Pack or the Musket Pack. Select three great games for only $55 or five games for $90. Great seats are still available. Single game tickets are starting at just $20. Get your game on. Call 866-UMASS-TIX or visit UMASSathletics.com to lock in your seats today. Welcome back to UMass Sports Insider. Well, being a student athlete in any one sport is certainly challenging on one's time. But for this minute, man, you're about to meet, he changes a football uniform from the fall in for a track outfit in the winter and the spring. Just how does he do it all? Let's find out by meeting John Derulis, presented by Mafre Insurance. My senior year, that's when I started playing offense, started actually playing varsity. Um, I wasn't really recruited for, for football as big as I was for track, so it was, it was you know, a weird situation. It was like kind of almost a last minute thing. My first connections with John, other than seeing his name in the newspaper, uh, was to be at the uh, state meet, the all-state meet in cross country last, excuse me, in track and field last year at Fitchburg State. And I said to myself, man, you know, I wish we could get that kid. He's really outstanding. And I knew he was a football player in the process. My junior year, I, I broke out uh, track star. Uh, nobody knew I had it in me. Uh, I didn't know I had it in me. I started breaking school records, state championships, New England's even, but I always loved football. You know, he showed up in, in August of last year and then got into the fall and, and did a really nice job for us um, on the scout team. It was a great addition in the uh, wide receiver room. The first time I learned that he was here by checking over Coach Whipple's roster, I went, oh my gracious, I guess that wish came true, you know. But the first thing we did was contact the coaching staff, and they were really cooperative. You know, Coach Whipple uh, uh, recognizes the value of, uh, with his offense, the speed and athletic ability and so forth, and uh, had those kids. I just got a message, and you know, I went, I went out, and I, he's, why not do it, get faster, it helps me, it helps the team, and you know, I feel like it just brings me back to where I left off my senior year, but even better. Track has two feature events, you know, two dynamic events, the mile run and the 100 meters. And if you're a football player, the 100 meters is the one you pick. He is a powerful, powerful runner. We were doing starts yesterday, and um, we used some laid down uh, rubber track surface on top of our uh, surface up in the Curry X cage. And uh, he was moving that rubber surface and uh, that's power. He was the only kid that was doing that. Yeah, there's guys that, that, can, um, that can just flat out go and, and, and use that speed. John's a, a player that, that once he gets the ball in his hands and he's running flatline speed, that he's gonna, he's gonna outrun some people. 
conditioning wise, I can do a lot more. Like when I'm out of season for the other sport, I could bring what I know into football for say like track. I, I could bring the speed into it. Uh, football, they teach you the, the lifting. We do a lot of like power lifting. So the explosion uh, into the blocks when I'm getting out for track. So, you know, they both intertwine with each other, give you best of both worlds, you could say. John will come out of the, seat, out of the track season I'm going to imagine quicker, more explosive, um, easier to recover between plays, between halves, and that's what it is. It's not just the it's not just the short burst, burst of speed. It's speed endurance, the ability to be fast, both through multiple rounds in the track and then also um, fourth quarter speed. Well, it's not at all uncommon. There are a ton of uh, football track doubles. It's an instance that's happened in the past with some of our football players. A few years back you had Brandon Lennon, Adrian Zulo, J.J. Moore, those, those fast football players. John Johnson was a state long jump champion in New Jersey, a sprinter, and he holds a couple of records for the most points scored for us. Uh, Brandon London, very recent. And the other person at that time was an exciting, dynamic, younger, smaller, explosive player, Adrian Zulo. And you know, with a name like that, you got to be fast. Option. Zulo, touchdown! Great story. We wish John continued success. And don't forget, the Atlantic 10 Track and Field Indoor Championships for both the men's and women's teams will be held this weekend in Kingston, Rhode Island. Time to step aside for a few moments. Don't go away, though. Here on UMass Sports Insider, we'll be back by sitting down with some accomplished student athletes and hearing about their impressive future plans for life after college. We're getting ready to enter the workforce right on the other side. Leadership isn't given, it's earned, realized, accomplished, fulfilled, won. Leadership isn't given, it's taken. We're back on UMass Sports Insider. Well, in this program each week, we hear so much about the athletic achievements for the Minute Men and Minute Women. But there are so many great academic concentrations here on campus. We thought we'd highlight what some of the students are doing outside of the classroom and beyond. So we sat down with a few of them to tell you about their plans for this summer and after graduation. Let's take a look. Presented by Peter Pan. My name is Blake Frampel. I'm a quarterback for the football team. I'm a grad student and I'm studying to get my master's in business administration and then master's in sports management. Hi, I'm Eileen McDonald. I'm a senior attacker on the women's lacrosse team and I'm a finance major in the Eisenberg School of Management. Hi, I'm Abby Raychek. I'm a junior coxswain on the UMass rowing team and I am a hospitality major. For, for the days ahead right now, I'm planning to um, try to continue my athletic career in the NFL if that's if it'll have me. But if not, um, my dreams as a little kid was always be a, a general manager in the NFL. And so I'd probably start in scouting. So I think probably the next route is probably either playing or scouting. I'm sure I'll probably, you know, venture down one of those paths. So this past summer I completed an internship at JP Morgan within the sales and trading department in New York City. It was my first time in New York, which was really exciting. I was there for about 10 weeks working with, um, on one of the trading desks and at the end of the summer I was lucky enough to be offered a job there post-graduation. This summer I have the amazing opportunity to spend about a month in Rio with the NBC Sports Olympic program. I'm going to be acting as a tour guide, helping out with the client events group. I would say the thing is with, I think with playing sports you kind of learn the background of the, of, of the game of football. I think having that definitely helps me, but with school you kind of learn the, the business part of everything and how everything works and how it's not just the, the product on the field. It's about there's so many moving parts in the background and you, once you learn those pieces it kind of puts all the, everything together. I joined the Minutemen Equity Fund my sophomore year in the fall. Um, I applied in my freshman spring and interviewed to become a part of the fund and it's a group of about 20 undergrad students in Eisenberg and we manage about $200,000 um, of a equity portfolio and invest it in different stocks and we pitch them to each other and kind of work on the more technical aspect of financial modeling and stock picking and research. I think alumni pooled in the uh, university pooled um, $25,000 in 2006 I believe um, and then 
from there it's just through returns accumulated to $200,000. Recently I've been working with the athletic department in the developmental office so that's a lot of alumni relations. I think that really kind of set me over the edge because we do a lot of events with the football team, with the basketball team now, just bringing in alumni, making sure they're having a great time, doing all the client relations with the football team and the basketball team has kind of set me up for the Olympics. Academically, I was very prepared, but that coupled with the responsibility of being on the lacrosse team and the time commitment along with that gave me great communication, teamwork, and time management skills that really translate directly into the trading floor because it's a very loud, bustling environment that you have to be able to work closely with others and really communicate. I think um, everything I've done at UMass has kind of given me a unique experience to prepare me for it. I think with the Osborne School, it, it attracts some of the best talent, and with the professors we have there, they, they kind of help develop these people into really the future leaders of sport. And I think with that program, having a chance to be a part of it, um, and just meeting, meeting so many people who are part of that network, and I think it certainly helps me prepare for the future, and uh, I'm lucky to be a part of it. Some very impressive student athletes here at UMass. We'll be back to wrap up this edition of the program coming up right after this. Don't go away. A forward-thinking insurance company with a global network. Focused on taking care of you and your family providing freedom from worry everywhere you go. Moffray Insurance. A forward-thinking insurance company with a global network. Providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family. Moffray Insurance. super excited about it. A number two pencil. It'll get you through the day. This is what you need. Why didn't I get enough pencils? Like, I'd open a pack of paper and I'd be like, it smells like learning. <laughs> Love that sound. Oh, the future is now, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm gonna get. This right here. I am a student again, and I can do anything. I have an agenda. <laughs> Drives, he shoots, he scores! That's right, it's basketball season and your UMass Minutemen are ready to take to the court at the Mullen Center. Don't miss out on the fun. Be sure to get your seats for this season's premium matchups and exciting game day action. Choose your games with the Maroon Pack or the Musket Pack. Select three great games for only $55 or five games for $90. Great seats are still available. Single game tickets are starting at just $20. Get your game on. Call 866-UMASS-TICKS or visit UMASSathletics.com to lock in your seats today. Welcome back to UMass Sports Insider. Getting ready to wrap up another edition of the program here in the Curry Hicks cage. But before we go, as we're doing in each and every episode in February in honor of Black History Month, we're focusing on a former coach or student athlete here at UMass that made a big difference with the program. And today we take a look at the life and achievements of former soccer player and outstanding coach Kala Kenny Banda. Banda experienced life at UMass both as an athlete and later as a coach. After lettering in soccer and track as an undergrad, he served as the women's soccer head coach from 1980 through 87, leading the Minute Women to six consecutive NCAA appearances and five straight trips to the Final Four. During his tenure as head coach, he coached 20 All-America selections and 31 All-New England picks. He also served as the women's track and field coach for eight years. Bonda now runs the Bonda Bola Sports Foundation, a charity dedicated to transforming the lives of rural poor children in Malawi, Central Africa. The foundation raises funds to offer after-school sports and activities, along with school supplies, to those less fortunate. And that's going to do it for this edition of UMass Sports Insider. Thanks so much for tuning in. Good luck this weekend in the Atlantic 10 Championships to the men's and women's swimming and diving teams and also men's and women's indoor track and field. Here on campus, it's a lacrosse doubleheader on Saturday. The men taking on Ohio State at noon with women's lacrosse hosting New Hampshire at 3. 
Then Sunday afternoon, the men's basketball team tries to continue its recent success when they take on George Mason at 4 o'clock. We'll have another new UMass Sports Insider coming right for you next week. Until that time, I'm Josh Maurer saying have a great weekend.